This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be, but hi. Wow, I don't, can you guys even see me? My hair looks a little crazy. Okay. Hi. Good morning. It's really late. Well, I guess it's not really late. It's more early. It's around five o'clock, but today's the first day of school and we're going on an adventure, you know? But first I need a cup of coffee. Wow, it is so dark. I'm so sorry. But yeah, first I need a cup of coffee, so. Oh, okay, better. I have my coffee. I got changed. Come on, guys, keep up. No, it's a, it's a bad camera editing joke. I'm too tired to like bring the energy, but we're we're gonna slowly wake up as soon as I start to drink this. I'm kind of excited for today. Can I sit? Can you see me? Okay, we're just gonna have to talk like this for now. I'm nothing's interesting happening down here. I'm just putting on my socks to get ready to go. I'm really excited about today, but I realized that like I had a huge vacation list. I'll show you. Look. I had a vacation list, vacation goals. And like, look at it. You guys even see that? Okay, this is ridiculous. It's too dark in here. It's too dark everywhere. Oh, hold on just a second. Okay, this is a little bit better. Ignore my room. It's probably really messy, but we're we're gonna get through. We're gonna get through. It is 5 30. I need to go soon. I need to catch the metro around six o'clock. So I gave myself enough time so I could wake up a little bit. I'm gonna guys give you some natural look because I don't feel like fixing my hair, but stay tuned, I guess. Um, I'm gonna drink my coffee, get ready to go, and let's meet up around same place, same time. <laughs> Sorry, my jokes are really bad right now. Hi, good morning. So clearly we're not in the same place. We're already in the metro. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're going yet. We're just gonna, we're gonna keep it a surprise. Hold on, please. Okay, just a second. Yeah, sorry. I always get awkward when people watch me film. There's nobody on the metro. But of course, like, the one time that I'm sitting there, the whole uh, metro station's empty, and a lady sits right next to me. Like, not even, like, a five feet distance, like, right next to me. It was too awkward for me to deal with, so I'll keep you posted on where we go. forget how many stairs there are getting to this place, but let's hope that it's worth it. <laughs> I know that it will be. Look, so I made it. So beautiful. This place in Barcelona, it's probably one of the most famous locations that every tourist wants to go. And I've only been here twice and it takes so much effort to get up here. But it's one of my favorite places in Barcelona. Like the beaches are beautiful, but if you can see with the sunrise, it looks like the ocean is pink. How beautiful is that? And then from the top, you can see see absolutely everything. Look, there's the Sagrada de Familia, the famous church by Gaudi that's still being built after all these years. There's the giant, like, I don't know whether this thing is like a hotel, but people say that it looks kind of like a, you know what I'm talking about. 
and then there's the the classic W Hotel. And then if you continue all the way up, you get the other side of Barcelona that's on this side here. Honestly, I don't want to go on that side because it's mostly buildings and mountains. I prefer looking at the ocean side. Um, the thing about Barcelona is that like it's different from any other sunset that I've ever experienced or sunrise that I've ever experienced. It kind of is like this pink hue, purpley hue, and it all lights up at once. And I think that's so amazing. Normally, I feel like when I go to the beach, like it's either the right side or the left side. Wow, this color. My skin is glowing, my face is glowing. Anyway, I feel like normally with the sunrise, it either like starts on one on the one side or the other, but here, like the sunrise and the sunset, like, the oh, oh, geez. The whole city just, just glows. But look at this. I don't know, it's hard, it's kind of hard to tell. It honestly does not, it doesn't do it justice. It, it doesn't do it justice, it is so beautiful out here, I could cry. <laughs> this is probably the best way to start my morning. Um, I no regret so far, but I think it's time to go home. Uh, we've got class in two hours and I still need to shower and everything. So come on, let's go. I'm honestly so happy to have taken this trip this morning because like I mentioned, uh, I had this huge vacation list. I had maybe like a month to be more adventurous and go out and explore and see more of Barcelona and get out of my shell. But sometimes I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's not that it's difficult for me to get out more, but it kind of is. I always have to, sorry, there's mosquitoes, force myself to, to just go out and go, you know? And so, I'm like, this is the last possible moment that I can. I waited to the very last day. And so I'm gonna try to accomplish everything that I had on my list of things to do because I want to enjoy my life, you know, I guess, you know, like sometimes I'll go out to hang out with friends and I think that's great, but I think that I need to explore and enjoy things by myself as well, you know, enjoy this part of my life where I'm alone and I'm in a city that I'm getting to know and getting to enjoy. I need more moments like this you know so I'm really happy that I came out today because this is incredible I love it so much so I don't know when the next time I'll get up early it took some commitment you guys know I got up so early but I'm happy that I did I'm happy that I did okay guys I made it back um, let me go get ready for school um, transition Hi, okay, I'm back. Um, as normal, we're running late. Um, but something that we have to do before we go this time is we have to take our COVID tests. So we bought them from the pharmacy. So I thought it'd be interesting to do them. And you know, it'd be really bad not to like jinx anything. Like we actually came up with a negative test right before. Pablo, come on, we got to go, man. It is like 9.40. Yeah. Okay, do you know how to do these? No? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not helpful. Here, let's get to you guys the view. Okay, I forgot too. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, Pablo helped me last time. Oh shit, okay. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. All I remember, this, we we put this in here. No. <laughs> Wait, okay, this goes in your nose, obvio. Yeah. But this, yeah. yes. Okay, see, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. this yeah, right. liquid goes in heat in here, yeah. and then we put this in here, yeah. and then we shake it, so. shake it a little, and then we dip it with in here, right? Yeah, in okay. here, yes. Okay, we're we're figuring this out, little by little. We're gonna be so late. Okay. <laughs> okay, first. 
Don't they have the little stand for us to put it? Oh, what's this? Okay, the bio thing, you opened it. Why don't we do this earlier? Okay, okay. let's see. There was a little stand before. Are you sure? Oh, you tell me, what the heck? Recuerdas? There was like, oh, it's here. Aquí. Okay. Bueno. You see our science experiment here? Hold on. Okay, this liquid goes, yeah, from the gold. Okay, this, open, this, in here. I'm making this up, I did not read the directions. Read the directions, kids. I don't think kids would be watching our video, my video, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> Maybe. Okay, uh, Maybe. this... Yeah, I need to... Or no. Shit. Okay, let me see. Wait, are you trying to do... Oh, shit, I touched it. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> okay, this part in your nose, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Adios. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah. <coughs> oh, Jesus. How long, do we, how long do we switch it for? Are you sure you don't have COVID? Oh, shit. It's not COVID. It's like. Okay. No, no. Okay, in the liquid, no? Swish. Where do we pour it? Do we pour it on here or here? Here. No, here. Yeah, the dot. Okay, we switched it. Do we put it at or or we wait? No, I think you need to put it somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's muy tarde. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll let you know our results. See you at school. Bye. Hi, look. It is super crowded already here at school. Hey. <laughs> Look, everybody's here. We have some old friends. We have Rodrigo here, Flavio here, the classics. And then we have like a hundred or so new faces here at the school. But we're in line now to get our badges and our t-shirts and our, our IDs and things like this. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody, we're here having lunch. I'm here. Hi, thank you. Hmm? Oh, another time, yeah. Hi again. Okay, how was your first day of class? Wow. No, no inglés, en español. Oh, vale, okay. Si tu puedes, tu, si tu quieres. En español. Okay, English is better, but... Know, but... Okay, en español, vale. Conocimos a un chingo de gente. De 35 países. Sí, sí. Yeah. Muchísimas personas hoy. Colombia, Perú, Francia. Francia. Yeah, Francia. Yeah. Oh, y de, de los Estados Unidos, un montón. Y muchos mexicanos. Sí. Y sí, una chica de Noruega. Sí, I met a guy. It's so funny because in my class there was yeah. maybe eight or nine people from the U.S. and ah. solo con, con sus acentos, like only with their accents. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're from here, you're yeah. from here, and it was really funny because like. <laughs> <laughs> this one guy, he was, for my friends in the States, you know this, but like this one guy in a brown jacket, uh, suede, long hair, an earring, loose, like vintage jean pants, vans, and he introduced himself. He's like, hi, man, what's up? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, you're from the West Coast, aren't you? <laughs> and I'm like, either California, whatever, this guy's from Portland, Oregon. I'm like, oh, yes, claro, this makes sense. 
I'm excited for our class. Our students are so nice. We're taking pastry this cl this this class, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you can see me. Sorry, the table's so short. I can't put you anywhere else. The guy said, "Oh, we have a guy from Peru. Mm -hmm. He's super sweet." And I'm yeah. like, "Boy, you need to make me some ceviche. You need to cook for me. Like, you need to teach me yeah. your recipes. Yeah. I love you already. Like Peruvian culture. Yeah. Oi." I and mean, then also a, a girl from Colombia, she was so sweet as well. Yeah, no, this one girl, she's so cute. She's from Turkey and she's looking for a roommate. Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. Turkey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, she's so sweet. And I'm, she's like, oh, are you looking for a roommate? And I'm like, she's like, I found your YouTube video. Okay. You're so nice. And I'm like, no, I'm, like, I, I, I'm, like if, I, I'm like, lady, like, I promise you, if I could kick out my roommate and have you move in, <laughs> I would do it if, like, without a second thought. But I'm sorry. I will ask other people, and then we can maybe find a place for you. Oh, but I'm like, goodness yeah. gracious! Like, I want you, but I can't have you hmm. at this moment. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah, maybe later. And that's our day. You know, the band played, and then now we're eating at our favorite little like kebab Turkish place. Oh my gosh, yeah, when I got back from the hike, all I did was shower, I got ready, and then as you know, we were late, we're always late. And then this is not no, sponsored, by the way. Sunrise? Sunrise? Bien. Sunrise. 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 Okay, so this is not normal. Normally, when I oversleep, Pablo is the one on my door, like, Precious, you, you need to come and get up. It's 7 50 and we need to yeah. go. You know? I'm like, and today we had to be at class at 10, and then I woke up really early, which is really not normal. And then he cannot survive without breakfast. Yeah. And so he wakes up at like 9 10, and I'm like, Oh, are you good? Are you supposed to be No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, see you guys. So, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> see you later. Ciao. <laughs> ciao. <laughs> yeah. So we met many friends here at Civ. They're so cute. And Mr. Koshi and the other girl. She's from uh, uh, Croatia. Croatia. Yes. And then India. India. Yeah. We have to introduce you more. I will make more vlogs introducing all of my friends here at Civ. But this okay, is the main one, I guess. Yo siempre aparezco en sus videos. <laughs> Yeah, only because he lives here. This is the only reason why he gets the credit. No, <laughs> I have more than one friend. Pero vamos a ser más amigos. This is going to be the section of the video where we do a Q&A. ¿Entiendes? Q&A. No. Q&A es preguntas y respondes. Ah, preguntas y respuestas. Respuestas, ah, sí. Ah, so. ¿cómo se dice? Q&A. Porque it's questions and answers. answers. Q&A. Yeah, you need Pregunt to come, come over, hunch a little, like you got a bad back. Okay, bueno, like your back duele, like... Yeah, me siento como un abuelito. Like, <laughs> sí, oh, eso. Okay, okay, so, questions. What is your favorite part about Barcelona? Um, conocer mucha gente. Mm -hmm. De todo mm. el mundo. Probas en inglés. Okay. Señor. Okay. Sorry, espera un momentito. Yeah. Vale, ahora sí. Okay. No, 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 and Mexico, Mexico, sorry. No, it's okay. In US, Oregon, California, sí. Miami. Yeah, Miami, dale. That was really funny. I met a guy from Miami and he just gave me that strong pit bull J-Lo energy. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, dale, estoy de la 305. You know, like he was like, que pasa, güey? Like he was just so like, I'm like, bro, you're from, that's, that's cool. Yeah, today was fun. Yeah, today was a lot of fun. I like, I think that the more that we see the band that comes and then we meet the new students, it's a lot of fun to see where everybody is from. Like, there's this one guy, it was really cool because he looked like he was from Hawaii. Like, he had the long, classic, long hair. He had, like, the Hawaiian, like, uh, floral printed shorts or whatever. <laughs> like, and then, like, the, the soft top. Like, he just looked like a cliche <coughs> sort of person that you would see that lives uh, in the main island of Hawaii. And no, I asked. I'm like, oh my gosh, where are you from? Whatever. And this guy with the thickest French accent goes, friends, you know, like, <laughs> what did yeah, he say? How did he say it? It was like his accent, it was so thick. I'm like, 
I was so shocked. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Like, I love when people don't match your expectations, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you think something and they're like, oh yeah, I'm like from this other part of the country, you know? Now ask me a question if you want to. Okay. Or if you don't want to, I can ask more questions. No, no yeah, you can. Ask you more questions? Yeah. Okay, what don't you like about Barcelona so far? Ah, Muy buena pregunta. No puede ser que no puedas encontrar una tienda 24 horas abiertas. Puede, pueden creer eso que no encuentres una tienda abierta. Por ejemplo, las gasolineras. Es muy común en Estados Unidos, en México, en Latinoamérica. Que yeah. encuentras... Me da hambre en la noche cuando nos damos una escapadita I por... Know. Drink or some little something. Something. It's like this. Like I don't know. You have to plan well. You cannot go out to a party or something, or go out in the night and not have food in your house or be hungry because even gas stations or something like this, like corner stores, like everything is absolutely closed. And so I understand this frustration. Like I get it that you need to close or whatever, but just the concept of 24 hours does not exist here, like at all. Like in fact, everything closes at like nine. Yeah. And so when you're hungry and you want to go out or something, no. They were closed. Yeah, I hate that. Okay. And sometimes, yeah, and sometimes they'll be open and you walk in and it's like you have money and then they'll be like, no, we're not gonna help you. And I'm like, okay, gracias, have a good night. Ciao. Ciao. What is something that surprised you being here? Like, wow, well, like, mm -hmm. porque este es tu primera vez en un, en un nuevo país también. Y I mean, en Europa. You know, you know what? Something that's like, wow, this is interesante. Like, una sorpresa. Oh, diferente, pero me gusta. The food. La comida. Because you can find, you can find different estilos. Estilos. De... Oh, no, es típico de Guatemala, ¿no? No. Vale, a mí. Hay nieve, nieve en la ciudad, pero como yo vengo de un. Sí, lugar, oh. Sí, no. I should mean this for thoughts. It's correct because, excuse me, for like uh, for me being from the U.S., like obviously I'm like, oh, this is normal. In fact, like yeah. we don't have enough options here. Like you know, in the U.S., you can if you want Thai food, food from Laos, Vietnamese, Guatemala, Mexico, Peru. It really doesn't matter. You can just Google it, and it's at least 20, maximum 30 minutes away. You can find something that's Amazing. similar. Yeah, si quieres algo así tienes que eh, viajar cuatro horas de donde estoy. Cuatro yeah. horas o seis horas. Ah, ahí viene el chico que este. Francia. Yeah, is it? Oh. No, right. Oh, ciao. See you later. But this is what I'm. Why do you say that like this? Okay, now I'm. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I literally lost my train of thought. What is it going to say? Awkward. Awkward? <laughs> oh, I'm proud of you. This, yeah, you got that word right. This is awkward. <laughs> okay. <Hi. laughs> what was I going to say? Hi. Hi, how are you guys? Good. I love your hair, by the way. I didn't. We didn't talk at all, but your hair is cute. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? I forgot. We were talking about the different types of food here. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so this is like his first time in the city that where we had. He never had Asian food, and we went to uh -huh. have ramen for the first time. Do you remember? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. And amazing. then, and then once I introduced him to ramen, we went like every. We went like three. Thank you so much. We went like three or four days in a row. Ramen, ramen, like ramen, 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 ramen. Yeah, we ate like at least once a week for like a, like a month or two. Food. Yeah, we like I like it too. So these I understand this. This is a good surprise. <laughs> this is a good yeah, surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Es que donde yo vengo es un pueblo muy chiquito, tal vez de unos cinco mil habitantes, five thousand, five thousand, five thousand what people. Oh right, because it's muy chiquito. Y tu país tu dijiste no? Tu dijiste ah también like por una cinema, por ejemplo, it's like mucho tiempo, it's muy lejos, no? Conocí un conocí un cine a los 22 años, something like that. I know if my first. Time. 22? Yeah. Oh, you see, like, okay, my family is a movie <laughs> TV family. Like, I, I know they haven't been on my channel for a while, but my family is a movie family. And so, like, we. I've been going to movies as long as I can remember. Before I'm sure I even understood what the movies were. That was our pastime. That's something we always did together. So for someone who hasn't seen a movie in the movie theater since like 22, like this is why we're friends. It's so interesting <laughs> just learning about these stories that we tell to each other. What's your favorite thing about Sib? What have you learned the most? What was something you're like, wow, this is so cool. Where? At Sib. Uh, well, the people is nice. <laughs> okay, fair. No, the, the chefs too. Juan Ho, Juan Mi. Oh my gosh, Ernesto. yeah. I love the chefs. Thomas, yeah. Thomas, Thomas is, so is so cute. cute. He's so cute. Oh my God. I love you, Thomas. <laughs>
<laughs> no, we all do. Yeah. He saves my life and saves your life because basically Thomas is like the teacher's aide and he's the only one who could translate like between both. And so sometimes when he's on our field trips or in classes, like yeah. he just really helps us out. And oh my God, no, I need to buy this man a gift at the end when we graduate. Like, thank you for all of your help. I will ask them later where they're from. So there's these girls here, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got ketchup on my microphone. That's really, really Stop cute. It. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. really gross. Sorry if that like sound is really... Like I know. I mean, anybody? okay, so <laughs> to be some context, we don't normally run into this many people. We're sitting in front of the metro that everybody has to take to get to the school. So literally everyone who went to school today has to pass by us and say hello. <laughs> so it's it's like this. Okay, you were telling me that your favorite yeah. thing to say, but only because the people are nice. I mean, my so man. No, I'm just kidding. They are really nice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, right Kind of, you see, you even had a, like a little, kind of, for the most part. I think everybody is really no, nice. The, the, I don't have a problem the, with No, anything. but I like my experience here. Yeah. yeah my, I, my friends, yeah, precious. Yeah, different. She's so cute, the good person, amazing. But <laughs> mierdas, mierd, mierdlas. What is the word? Lies. Like, mentiras. Mentiras. <laughs> <laughs> Mierdas y mentiras, es muy yeah, okay. <laughs> Sí, sí, sí. Enti sí entiendo, sí. pero es, ¿Mientes es una broma. Okay. <laughs> what is something you miss from home? Besides your family, because I think that's My, a cop-out answer. My, Everybody yeah, misses their family. Yeah, food, of course, because here the food is so different. Yeah. My family, of course, my mom, my brother, my, my nephews, my... He has a montón de familia. Yeah. Um, a mí también, somos pero... Un, somos una big family, literally. Me too, I have like 50 primos. <laughs> like... Yo tengo 100. Ah, <laughs> you have 100? <laughs> no, pero sí, extraño mucho a mi It's familia. It's muchísimo. Yeah. Wow, extraño, extraño, he's really close extraño to Extraño us. las tortillas, because yo oh ate my gosh. tortillas for the for the breakfast, for the dinner, for the lunch, for I'm the surprised. little snack. I'm surprised and tortillas no es una parte de la cultura de España. Like yeah. tortillas no existen. No, or solo la, los tortillas de la tienda, you know, like it's, the no, like the there. Dale Taco America. Oh, these like the American tacos that are here. Yeah. Qué triste. I, so yeah, this does not oh, exist. Oh, no. also spicy things. I miss spicy things. Yeah, because here the people not they don't like it. Like it. Yeah. But I think una buena cosa positiva de España relativo de comida, they have the best olive oil in the world. So like if you think it's Such Italy, if you think it's Italy, look it up on the olive list, like the sommelier list of wine for olive oil. Spain is actually number one. In America, it's easy to think this because of the huge migration or immigration that we had with a bunch of Italian people, and they use a lot of olive oil. So naturally, we're like, oh yeah, Italian olive oil is the best. But that is false. <laughs> It's actually Spain. So this, yeah. the olive oil here is so Spain. cheap and it is so delicious. Yeah, I've yeah. never loved olive oil so much in my whole life. So in Guatemala using the Real, vegetable, vegetable oil, oil or... No, because the olive oil... Is expensive, it's no? It's so expensive in Guatemala. Yeah. yeah but in the States, it's like medium price. It's not like crazy expensive, but you buy it and it's a big difference, canola oil or whatever. But here, it's like water. And it's cheap, it's cheap and it's the best. It is so good. Literally, I can just get bread and dip the olive oil and it was so good we had an olive oil tasting we had a class just for olive oil where we had oh, it was so good you put them in little shot glasses and our chef he's a huge olive oil fanatic and we literally just drink it and like and you smell it and it smells like fresh tomatoes like you yeah. cut a tomato and you smelled it and that's how the olive oil smells and then it tastes it's a little peppery and oh my i've never loved olive oil so much i've never loved olive oil so much in my life and then tomatoes. I didn't like tomatoes before I came here. <laughs> like I mean like pasta and things like this, of course, that doesn't really, it doesn't count because like, you know, you have all the other ingredients, but I'm talking about like a raw like cherry tomato. Mm. Oh my god, the tomatoes here are so good. I can literally eat the raw <laughs> tomatoes now. They're so yummy. So I think that's cool. Also the bread, the croissants and things like these. Yeah, I mean, wow. See. La, la panaderia I, culture yeah, here it, is... Yeah, it's different. I was really, I really, gained really so much weight when I came here. I mean, not, not that it's important because like, you know, live your best European life. But at the same time, like when you eat, when you came here, you like, you eat a lot of the breads when you first come here. Cause you're like, wow, like first off, it's so cheap. You can get a baguette here for like 40 cents, something like this. Yeah. And then croissants that are like oh buttery and flaky croissants. and oh, they're so good. Oh and they're God. like 75 cents or something yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All the pastries are just, this is yeah. what Europe is about. <laughs> this is something that I really love. Oh, this is something bad about Spain. Like the coffee is shit here. <laughs> the coffee is so bad. It is all burnt. It's they don't care. Like because you're the 
like he's from at least Guatemala. He knows like good yeah. coffee. I am a coffee drinker. I like mine yeah. black. So don't I not even cream and sugar. And I taste it's horrible, <coughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. And it's not strong. It's very weak as well. Yeah. So it's like weak burnt coffee. Yeah. Ciao, hasta mañana. Ciao. So like the meal is afuera and like Ernesto dijo like yeah. okay, este es malo porque en verdad yeah. it's like agua con leche en polvo. Yeah. You know. Ciao. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and so like this is also weird. So all the milk does. There's no fridges for this. It's like all it's the milk. You know the little juice box milks that you can get or whatever. It's like all like that. But people drink like this yeah, normally. So day. none of it is. Healthy like yeah, this. And it's not, it's so there. I think that's why there's a huge uh, wave of people who really care for vegetable milks or options because it's yeah, it's not normal to drink milk like yeah. this. Tienes más preguntas porque this we're talking a lot. We can do if you want to see more of a Q&A later, we can make another video and you can send us questions and we'll do it like ah, this. Ah, maybe you can say algo de Guatemala porque los seguidores de Precious tal vez son de where you followers, donde son tus seguidores, maybe US or where. I'm sorry, what is your question? Oh, my followers, seguidores, wow, followers, okay, cool. Um, de todos los lugares en el mundo, porque tengo una following de, de España aquí, porque, porque sí. Um, pero sí es una escuela internacional y mi familia, mis amigos, es en los Estados Unidos, es tipical. Pero, you know, so a little bit of everywhere. Thank you, guys, for following. Y tiene un seguidor Chapin. Chapin, you say Chapin when you from Guatemala. Chapin and qué significa eso? Chapin, it's like de dónde eres? Ah, soy Chapin. I'm from Guatemala. Oh, soy Chapin. That's okay. really cute. Okay, that's all. Say goodbye to the people. Say have a good day. Subscribe a, to the channel. Have a good day. Subscribe for the what? <laughs> El channel. Ah, subscribe for the cha channel. Subscribe. Follow her. You have to say it nicely, not like subscribe to the channel. Subscribe You'd be like, oh channel. well, thank you. Gracias. Oh, for thank you for watching. Subscribe for the channel. See you for the next video. Bye. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Muy bien. Ciao. Yeah.